hey, some of you have been having difficulty with figuring out the forces on a system and then doing it quantitatively with numbers. This is standard 4.5. Um, so I want to take a look at this problem from the quiz. We've got a piece of cardboard. We know its mass is being dragged along a table. It's got a constant velocity. Constant velocity is important here. Um, it's being pulled by a tension force of 30 newtons. The string is at an angle, and there's a heavy brick. And we have its mass. The cardboard and brick is going to be one object, so this whole thing is one object. We want to draw a force diagram and determine the magnitude of each force. First of all, what forces are acting on it? Since we're on Earth, there's going to be a force of gravity. Uh, since this is on a table, along a table, we assume it's flat, there's going to be a normal force. We've got this tension force along the string, and because it's constant velocity, there's going to have to be balanced forces, so we're going to have to have a friction force going in this direction. So those are the forces that we want to put on our force diagram. So this can be done without any tilt to it because we're on a nice flat surface and all of the motion is exactly horizontal. Um, when I do this, I want to try to draw it so that my forces are balanced. Uh, I'm drawing a gravity force that's a little bit long here, um, gravity force on the system from the Earth, because I want to make sure that when I draw my uh, upward forces, I'm going to be able to balance it. So I'm going to have my tension force here, force of tension on the system from the string with my 40 degree angle. Uh, and there's going to be some upwardness to this and some rightwardness to this. So my upwardness, that plus normal force has to equal the total downward force. So I want to make sure that I draw my normal force accordingly and I don't make it as long as the gravity force. So this plus that, which would be added up here, is going to be about as long as this. So this is my normal force on the system from the table. And then my friction force, this is what keep it, keeps it going at a constant velocity. So I'm going to draw this to be the same size as this component of that tension force. So this is my force of friction on the system from the table. I need to determine the magnitude of each force, so that's how many newtons. The force of gravity is the easiest one. The force of gravity is always going to be equal to the mass times 10 newtons per kilogram. So since I've got the brick of 5.0 kilograms and the cardboard at 0.2 kilograms, I'm simply going to add those up. So I'm going to have 5.2 kilograms times 10 newtons per kilogram, and that's going to be 52 newtons. All right, so 52 newtons. All right, easy one. Uh, this one's easy because we're told it. This is 30 newtons. Okay. So that leaves the friction force and the normal force. I'm going to do the friction force first because it's easier. Um, we know that the friction force has to be balanced with this component of the tension force. And this component of the tension force is adjacent to the angle, so we're going to use cosine here. So this is going to be equal to 30 times the cosine of 40 degrees. So force of friction on the system from the table is equal to 30 times the cosine of 40 degrees. And when we do that, you're going to get uh, 22.98. And you can round that to 23 if you'd like. That's fine. To get the normal force, that's the most challenging. Um, the normal force is together with this component of the tension force upward, and it has to balance this downward. So I like to do this by actually writing out the equation in the vertical direction, the y direction. It's going to be equal to the gravity force um, plus the normal force plus the tension force times the sine of 40 degrees, and it's sine because the side is opposite the angle and sine goes with opposite. 
And all of this has to add up to equal zero because we know that this whole thing is going at constant velocity and moreover, in the vertical direction, it's not moving at all. So gravity's down, normal force is up, this component of the tension force is up. So I'm going to plug in uh, negative 52 newtons plus the normal force plus whatever 30 times the sine of 40 degrees is. It turns out that 30 times the sine of 40 degrees is equal to 19.28. And if I solve this, I will find that the normal force is, in fact, equal to 32.72. Uh, you can figure out that uh, the calculation on your own, making sure your calculator is in degrees mode, or it will not work. Okay, um, And you could round that to 33 if you would like, since everything else is rounded to the ones place in this exercise. Good luck!